Hey folks, Logan here, and today we're on a Regal 26XO. What we're going to talk about is uh, your basic Garmin utilization. So, as with almost every Regal model now, a uh, twin Garmin setup is standard. And for my basic running, the way I'm going to use this is on one screen here, I'm going to have my GPS information. And on my second screen, I'm going to have my engine data. Now, there's a few different ways you can look at engine data. First is Yamaha screen here. And what I like about this, real easy, clear, simple to read. You got your volts, your RPMs, trim, fuel, hours, fuel flow economy, uh, and your basic batteries and everything on down here. Uh, if you like having a little bit more information, though, you can go ahead and use Garmin's. Uh, now, what's cool about Garmin's, it's more automotive, and you can really change almost anything here. So if I click and hold on a certain gauge, now you can see I can actually replace the data with about whatever information uh, the NEMA network is getting. In addition here, uh, we can also even edit our gauge pages. So we can change layout to a multitude of layouts, as you can see here. Going back to home, a few other things I want to show you all here is next is going to be media. Uh, Garmin owns Fusion Stereo and it allows easy integration here so you can control uh, everything there on the stereo from here. In addition, one thing I forgot to show you guys is we can actually click hold on any of these uh, buttons and I'll add it to your favorites. So now uh, you can just add just the ones that you're typically going to use. Click up here on favorites. Now we got them added up there. Uh, another cool thing here is what's called Active Captain. And this is an app that you can download onto your phone and it allows you to keep your maps updated, software updated, and you can actually do routing the night before, come here to your boat, sync it up, and just slide your route uh, right on over to your GPS. Of course, charts, almost most of the time, you're going to typically use your navigation charts. Combo, you can set up combo if you want split screens, but again, with having dual screens here on the Regals typically not needed. Smart mode, don't really know too much about that. Uh, would like to learn, so uh, there's that. And then lastly, I want to go back to charts here and show you a little bit here in charts. Uh, one thing here, you can see we have our overlays there on all four corners. Um, the biggest one I always like to have is going to be my depth. Uh, and that can be changed by going into menu. And then another thing I want to show you is auto routing. Uh, and essentially how that works is you pick a point, you're going to go ahead and uh, double click on it. And you see up here at the top center, uh, auto guidance. Go ahead and click that. It's going to take a little bit and it's going to put a route. Now notice that it does say auto guidance. Uh, this is not, you know, a true GPS. There's so many factors to include there with boating. Uh, so always keep that in mind. Remember, your eyes uh, going to tell you a lot more information than what a basic GPS ever will. And then you're just going to press start navigation and it's going to navigate. Uh, and the cool thing is when I did that here on this screen, uh, it actually duplicated it on this screen as well. Uh, so these two units do talk to each other. Folks, thanks for watching my quick video here on your Garmin units and, and basic utilization of it. Uh, reach out if you all have any questions. Have fun and be safe out there in the water.